This year, more than 50,000 applicants will apply to medical school. You've worked hard to position yourself as a competitive medical school applicant. I'm gonna show you which statistics are important for medical school applicants so you can make the best decisions on where to apply this coming cycle. By the end of this video, you will understand what medical school admission statistics are the most important to consider as you get ready to apply to medical school. So let's get started now. I'm Dr. Jessica Friedman, founder and chair of MedEdit's Medical Admissions. And in this video, we're going to discuss the data that will help you get into medical school. Our motto at MedEdit's is to work efficiently and effectively so we don't waste your valuable time. I will follow that ideal today. If you review the comments on my videos, my articles, or on my Amazon page, you will see that I'm often asked, what are the most important pieces for medical school admissions? Is it your essays, your letters of reference, your grades, your research, your clinical experience? At MedEdits over the last 12 years, we've been helping students beat the odds and get into medical school. One of the reasons our students are so successful is because we spend hours reviewing admissions data and information. Down in the comments, please let me know if there are any statistics that you want me and my team to review. Yes, we do pay attention to your comments, so please post down below. So which medical school admission statistics will help you build a solid foundation and impact your success? I will review these important numbers. But before we begin, here's a warning that can be difficult to hear. No matter how exceptional an applicant's background, personal statement, activities entries, letters of recommendation, and secondary essays, it is often impossible to overcome low medical school statistics. It's true. So we have to know which numbers are important and which statistical forces you'll be competing with. I have a question for you. Do you know the two biggest objective med school admission stats that determine an applicant's success? Here they are, and they probably won't come as a surprise to you. The Medical College Admissions Test, or MCAT score, and Undergraduate Grade Point Average, or GPA. Your BCPM, meaning Biology, Chemistry, Math, and Physics GPA matters as well. This seems simple, but don't be fooled. It is not always easy to find out a medical school's average MCAT score and GPA for accepted students. Down below in the description section, I've put a link to the MSAR, the Medical School Admissions Requirements published by the AMC. Most students rely on the MSAR to make decisions about where to apply, but that may not answer some important questions, however. The MSAR only lists median or middle statistics and not mean or average statistics for accepted students. So what can you do? Some medical schools, but not all, post this data on their websites. So do a Google search for the school and see if you can find this data. If you can't, we can help. Post a message below in the comments and let the MedEdits team get to work for you. This process is really important because understanding the numerical criteria that influence an applicant's success will allow you to set goals. It also enables medical school applicants to gauge how competitive they are in general. Next, I want you to review medical school acceptance rates so you can get an idea of how competitive some medical schools are. Remember, the lower the medical school acceptance rate, the more competitive the medical school. And the higher a medical school acceptance rate, the less competitive the medical school. When deciding where to apply to medical school, you must know each medical school's average acceptance rate. Every year, we spend countless hours with students trying to figure out if they'll be competitive for a particular school. But here's the problem. Many medical schools do not disclose how many interviewees they actually accept. Medical schools may only publish the following, how many applications they receive, the number of applicants they interview, how many applicants actually matriculate. Therefore, it isn't always possible to know what percentage of applicants interviewed are ultimately accepted. Either way, my faculty and I always stay on alert for new data, so be sure to subscribe to this channel below or head over to our blog to keep up to date. Next, I want to introduce you to what we refer to as camouflage medical schools. These medical schools are, you might think, are not very competitive based on the average GPAs and MCATs of accepted students. However, as I discuss in my top-ranked Amazon book, The MedEd's Guide to Medical School Admissions, some of these less competitive schools re receive a huge number of applications and interview a very small percentage of applicants, making them fiercely competitive. So don't be fooled by all the statistics. Can you name a camouflage medical school? Post below what you think that might be. 
So which schools receive the most applications? There are a few schools that get more than 15,000 applications. On our website, we profile these schools and we update that profile throughout the season. Then there's the 10,000 application group. These schools receive more than 10,000 applications. Georgetown, Chicago Med, Roslyn Franklin, Tulane, Tufts, Wake Forest, New York Medical College, Drexel, Temple Cats. So, do you think 10,000 to 14,000 applications seems like a lot? Well, let's take a look at this year's overall applicant pool. In 2018-2019, there were nearly 850,000 medical school applications submitted by almost 53,000 applicants. Therefore, on average, each applicant applied to 16 medical schools. In total, almost 22,000 applicants matriculated, meaning 41% of medical school applicants matriculated. So here's the question. Of schools to which you are applying, what are the actual acceptance rates? Acceptance rates between medical schools vary significantly. For most selective medical schools, such as Harvard Medical School, the acceptance rate is very low, at below 4%. However, some medical schools have much higher acceptance rates. For example, the University of Tennessee has an acceptance rate of almost 14%. Average medical school acceptance rates are 7%. Increasing number of medical school applicants every year, acceptance rates continue to decrease, especially at very popular or very competitive medical schools. Next, I'm going to explain what a competitive MCAT score is for medical school admissions. For reference purposes, know that the highest possible MCAT score you can earn is a 528 with a 132 on each of the four subsections. According to the Association of American Medical Colleges, the average MCAT score for students accepted to allopathic medical schools in the United States was 511.2, which was slightly higher than the previous year of 510.4, showing an upward trend of average scores for accepted students. The typical MCAT score one needs to be competitive for medical school admission is a 508. MCAT scores of 507 or below are generally considered low and not competitive for allopathic medical school admissions. However, there are exceptions to this rule. An MCAT score of 518 or above is considered exceptional and makes you a very competitive applicant. Most medical schools have MCAT cutoff scores, meaning that an applicant must earn above a specified score in order for the medical school admissions committee to review the application. Unfortunately, medical schools do not always make this data public. Earning the highest MCAT score possible with the lowest number of exam attempts is ideal for getting into medical school. For example, the student who has taken the MCAT three times, earning scores of 503, 504, and 512, may be evaluated as a less competitive applicant than the applicant who took the exam once and earned a 512 on the first attempt. Which medical schools have some of the lowest median MCAT scores for accepted students? Let's review. University of Mississippi 503, Louisiana State 504, Northeast Ohio 506, Central Michigan 506, Florida State University 506, Southern Illinois 506, Michigan State 507, Brody and Cooper 508, and Loma Linda 508 as well. Which medical schools have some of the highest median MCAT scores for accepted students? Harvard 519, Hopkins, Pritzker, Penn, and Northwestern 520, Vanderbilt, Wash U, and Yale, and NYU 521. Next, I want to explain the importance of the three GPA categories as listed on AMCAS. A medical school applicant's GPA is considered one of the most important admissions criteria when applying to medical school. GPAs are broken up into three categories on AMCAS as follows. Your overall GPA, your BCPM, meaning biology, chem, math, physics GPA, and your non-science GPA. An applicant's GPA in all three categories is one of the most important factors in medical school admissions. Like the MCAT, Medical schools have minimum GPA cutoffs they will consider, but beware when doing your homework. GPA cutoffs are not always made public. In 2018-2019, the average medical school matriculant GPAs were as follows. Overall 3.72, BCPM GPA 3.65, non-science GPA 3.8. Keep in mind that these are average GPAs. There is a pretty big variation of matriculant GPAs from medical school to medical school. The typical GPA we advise students to have is a 3.5 across all subjects. However, we work with many students who have GPAs lower than this who are accepted to medical school. Grade trends are also important with an upward trend making you a more competitive applicant. The rigor of your academic classes and your undergraduate college reputation can also impact how your grades are interpreted. 
At MedEdits, we consider the range of competitive GPAs to be 3.4 to 3.5 or higher. So, which medical schools have some of the lowest mean GPAs for accepted students? So, let's review the most important medical school admissions criteria. The most important criteria in the medical school admissions process are MCAT scores and GPAs. These factors are the cornerstone of every applicant's candidacy. If you are about to embark on your pre-medical journey, keep in mind that academic excellence should be your primary goal. If you are getting ready to apply to medical school, honestly assess your chances of medical school admissions by objectively evaluating your stats together with medical school admissions acceptance rates to determine your competitiveness. I realize that all of this can seem a little overwhelming, but remember, at MedEdits, we're working hard to bring you the data that makes a difference. So be sure to hit the subscribe button below and keep up to date on MedEdits videos. Finally, head on over to our website www.mededits.com to subscribe to our popular newsletter and sign up for a free 15-minute consultation. And don't forget to buy my book, The Med Edits Guide to Medical School Admissions, as well as The Med Edits Guide to the Medical School Interview. They're both newly updated from previous editions. I wish you the best of luck.